Hi everyone. Julie at Magnolia Grace Cottage. Door knob and door plate. That's what we are going to be doing this today. Lid from the seasoning. I had this leftover roll from some craft paper. Glued this onto the inside. Putting a little bit of E6000. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my hot glue and glue the piece on. For the plate on the door, I just drew a picture. So this is my template. So for the plate itself, I save my cookie sheets that I use when I grunge stuff because this is luscious stuff, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and use a section of this for my plate. I lay my template on the cookie sheet, draw a line around it, and I just begin cutting. You have to be really careful because obviously this is metal and it will cut. So that's what I have so far. This is going to be the plate. Now, the actual rim of the cookie tin, that is what I use to frame around the area to make it look more authentic. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut, frame it in around how I would like it to be. I'm gluing all around the perimeter here. And I've left a little bit of an edge here, enough so it could tuck underneath the plate. This foam board that's made to look like wood that I've shown you in another tutorial. And I'm gonna use this to mount this on and put my doorknob on. Is So there's the plate, made the keyhole. What I'm going to do is get some burnt umber. I, it's just one of my favorites. Burnt umber. And I'm just gonna kinda go ahead around the exposed metal areas. Now I've painted the entire plate and put a little color along the sides here on the knob since it's been 24 hours. And I, play, I spread it out uh, relatively thin, as thin as I can so that it will be able to dry faster. Just molding it around, making it look like a knob. Bit of a rim around it. Let's see it very well here. I just, I made a bunch of swirls here and pushed them into the clay. This is what we've got so far, guys. What I'm going to cool? do now is I'm going to paint. So the three colors that I used on my previous one and the one I'm using on this one, I really like this black chalkboard paint and um, Apple Barrel Burnt Umber and Apple Barrel Brown Oxide. And I want to get inside those little grooves there. Okay, so now that I've painted it, it's some glue here. And I did have some E6000 on the bottom of this as well. So I'm going to go ahead and push that on. Well, here it is. Here's the finished doorknob. And again, here's the other one. Thanks you guys for watching. And please follow me on Facebook and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Thank you from Magnolia Grace Cottage. Take care.